Researchers at Harvard, led by chemist George Whitesides, have developed an all-polymer soft robot that travels backward and forward by undulating or by crawling. The white tetrapod robot moves because of small chambers sandwiched inside its plastic structure. The researchers inflate, or actuate, the chambers in the robot's limbs and spine to inch it forward. Listen as Harvard postdoc Rob Shepard talks about what the robot can do. Um, so we were inspired by soft-bodied um, organisms such as a starfish, a squid, or a worm um, for making our mobile soft robot. And we didn't want to. We say we felt that using new materials, um, we could avoid the need for hard components. And the material we chose um, is an ultra soft silicone elastomer, which can strain to hundreds of percent um, length. In its undulating mode, the robot moves when two of its limbs are pressurized, followed by its spine, and then its two other limbs, and this cycle repeats. This movement is like the gated motion of a caterpillar. Shepard continues. Because of how we designed our soft robot architecture, we could also inflate the middle channel, uh, the middle actuator, which made it stand up. And then we had four actuators, which look like legs, to, uh, we could use these in sequence to give it a, a crawling gait. So it could actually lift its body up off the ground and start um, moving again forward or backwards, depending on which sequence we used. And it turns out these are good for moving on different surfaces. Um, undulation actually is pretty good for soft surfaces and slippery surfaces because there's a large contact area. And uh, crawling is good for sticky surfaces because you have less contact area. Um, and then we combined um, both capabilities, crawling and undulating, for um, to navigate an obstacle, which was a um, glass plate elevated off the um, surface of some felt we chose. And so we, the sequence went, we lifted the, bot, the robot from a deflated state, we inflated the spine, lifted it from the ground, and then actuated its legs in a crawling sequence to bring it to the obstacle. And the obstacle was the gla this glass plate lifted two centimeters off the ground. We then deflated the spine of the robot, so now it's actually shorter than the gap, and then we undulated the robot to squeeze it underneath this gap. And on the other side, we then reinflated the spine and crawled again. Um, then this, this was just one method of demonstrating the adaptability of this um, mobile robot prototype. 